hello good day viewers i hope you're doing well wherever you're watching this video from this is your tutor mr mlenga okay so as you can see uh we are still looking at um, linear programming okay and this is our uh, fourth lesson yes this is our fourth lesson so how can we answer this um question okay so they are saying in the diagram uh below R is the unshaded what? Region. You can see where R is. It's here. This is the unshaded region. So the question is, write three inequalities which describes the region R. Okay. They want you to write three inequalities. Okay. So you can see you have this line one, two, three. Okay. So how can you write the three inequalities? So it's very important that you understand the lines okay so we are going to start with the line that is very simple for example this one okay so say this is our first one okay now we understand that this is the line this one this is the line y equal to x we all know that according to the properties of the cartesian plane so we write y then we leave space here we write x Okay, now what inequality sign are we going to put? Okay, so I'm talking about this line here. What inequality sign are we going to put? So looking at where it's shaded, okay? The shaded part is the wanted part, okay? Then the unshaded part is the one that they want you to, to define, okay? So how can you describe this unshaded part? So the upper region is greater, then the lower region is less, okay? So I'm going to describe this uh, unshaded part with the opposite, where we say it's less or equal to what? X. Why am I putting equal to? Because this type of a line, it's a solid what? Line. So we have answered our first uh, inquiry. So we come to the second one. Okay. So we are remaining with two. This and this. So whatever inquiry to pick it's fine so let's say we pick this one okay so for this one for you to write the inequality that is presented by this uh, line there okay you have to find the gradient okay you have to find the gradient so how can you find the gradient you are going to pick the coordinates so in this case we understand that this is the line y equal to zero okay so since it's on eight it's going to be 8 comma 0 like this then the same line this one you can pick any point if you want if you want you can pick this and this or this and that that anywhere okay so for me i'll pick this and here okay why because i understand that this is the line x equal to zero so i'm going to have zero comma it's on two zero comma what two so once you come up with these coordinates, then name them. This is your x1, y1, x2, y2. So the formula for gradient is m equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So m, let's just substitute. What is our y2? Our y2 is 2 here. Then what is our y1? It's 0. So 2 minus 0 over. What is our x2? Our x2 is 0 minus. What is our x1? It's 8. Okay. So this means 2 minus 0. We're going to get a 2 over. 0 minus 8. We're going to get a negative what? 8. So here. 2 here. 1 into 8. 4. We're going to get negative 1 over 4. So this is the value of the gradient. So you must understand something that whatever point you pick along this line, whatever point you pick, you are going to get the same gra gradient, okay? Because gradient in a straight line is the same, okay? So I just picked this point and this point, okay? So for you, you can pick any point. So having come up with this gradient, what are we going to do next? What are we going to do? Okay, so what's next is uh, we are going now to, to find the equation of the straight line using the formula where we say y minus y1 
equal to m open bracket x minus x1 you close so this is the formula for finding the equation of the, the straight line so remember we have the coordinates we have this coordinate and this coordinates so whatever coordinate between this and this you can pick any okay to fuse in on y1 and the x1 if we pick this one okay if we pick 8 comma 0 this will be our x1 this will be our y1 or if you pick this one just like that okay so we say let's replace now y minus where there is y1 we put 0 equal to m is the gradient which is negative 1 over 4 okay negative 1 over 4 open bracket x minus our x1 is what 8 like this so what is next let's expand this we are going to say y equal to negative 1 over 4 so here i've just decided to write y because this is a zero i know even if it goes to the other side it's not going to change anything so we are going to expand negative 1 over 4 times x we are going to get negative 1 over 4 x negative times negative positive 1 over 4 times 8 okay this 4 here 1 into 8 2 so i'm going to write 2 so this is our equation okay this is our equation now remember we are talking about inequations or inequalities okay where we are supposed to use an inequality symbol so here we are going to say why therefore we leave space here and then you write negative 1 over 4 x plus 2 so now let's get back to our diagram okay let's get back to our diagram this is our diagram okay remember it's this line that i'm talking about this one okay so as you can see the shaded part is coming down here now they want us to describe the unshaded part so the unshaded part this is the upper region okay which is greater then the lower region is less okay so you are going to describe this using the opposite the shaded is less okay the shaded is less then the unshaded is greater okay the unshaded part the opposite so here we are going to do this we are going to say y is greater or equal to negative 1 over 4x plus 2 this is our second inequality okay i hope you are following i hope you are following now let's look at the third inequality okay our third inequality our third inequality so what is our third inequality okay here we have answered this one we have also answered this one we are just remaining with this line okay are you able to see so for this line you can see they have given you here there is a point okay there is this point where the coordinates are are intersecting okay they are saying this is 5 comma 5 so they have given you the point and remember here i said you have the point which is 8 comma 0 so you have this and this pick them okay pick them to find the gradient so you are saying we have 5 comma 5 okay we also have 8 comma 0 so this is our x1 y1 x2 y2 so just the same let's find the gradient m equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 so let's just now substitute m equal to what is the y2 is 0 minus what is the y1 it's 5 over what is the value of x2 it's 8 minus 8 1 it's 5 like this okay i do hope that you are following then we are going to say m equal to 0 minus 5 you are going to get a negative 5 over 8 minus 5 okay you are going to get a 5 like that okay so here uh, you have a positive and a negative and a positive your answer will be a negative form 5 year 1 5 year 1 so our gradient is equal to what to 1 that is the value of the gradient 
So what's next? Our gradient is one. What's next? Let's come up with the Okay. Alright. So um okay. So we said the value of the gradient is negative one, okay? So when we subtract zero minus five is negative five. Eight minus five is not supposed to be five, like I said earlier on. Okay, so I hope you also take note. It's supposed to be what? A three there. So the value of the gradient will change there. Uh, we have five, we have negative five over three. So take note of this, okay? Take note of this. So I made a mistake here where I said eight minus five is five. No, it's supposed to be three. Take note of that. So this is the value of the gradient. So what are we going to do now? We come up with the equation of finding the straight line, which is y minus y1 equal to m, open bracket, x minus x2, like this. Okay? So remember the coordinates, okay? We have this coordinate here. Okay. Remember, we have this coordinate here. Uh, let me show you. Okay. I hope we are able to see these coordinates. Okay. These are the coordinates that we have. So if these are the coordinates, what are we talking about? You can either pick this or you can pick this coordinate. Okay. I hope you are following. I've said you can either pick this or you can pick this. If you pick this one, your x1 will be 5, your y1 will be uh, 5. If you pick this one, okay, your x1, if you pick this one, your x1 will be 8. Then your y1 will be 0. I do hope that you are following. Okay, so you can pick whatever there. Very important. Okay, so... Uh, let's say I've picked this 8,0. This is the one that I've picked. So this would be my y, my x1. This would be my y1. So here we'll say y minus, where there is y1, we'll put 0, equal to, okay, equal to, where there is m. Remember what we have found? What is the value of the gradient? We said the value of the gradient is negative 5 over 3, okay? Negative 5 over 3, open bracket, x minus, what is x1 here, yeah, sorry? What is x1? Is 8 here, like that. I do hope that you are following. So you say y equal to, then here we expand, negative 5 over 3 times x. I'm going to get negative 5 over 3 x, negative, negative, positive, okay? Then 5 over 3 times 8. So this 3 can go into 8, but it will leave a remainder. So just multiply 5 over 3 times 8. Okay? You are going to get 40 over 3. So I do hope that you are following. Okay? I do hope that you are following. This is what you are, you are going to get. So what is our answer? What is our answer? What is our answer? So our answer now, this is the equation. Okay? What is our answer? Our answer, we're going to write it like this. We leave space here. Okay. Then for, for this one, you can even say, since 3, 3, this is the common what? Um, denominator. It's the common denominator. You can write like this. I'll just say 1 over 3. I do hope that you are following. You write 1 over 3, open bracket. Then you have uh, negative 5 x then you say plus here 40 you close like this okay now here remember we have left space here so what in quadrant sign are we going to put okay what in quadrant sign are we going to put so allow me to show you okay this is this is what we are talking about this is the inequality or oh, this is the line, okay? Now, the upper region is the one that is shaded, okay? The upper region, which is the one that is shaded, which is greater. 
then the lower region is not what shaded okay so what are we saying we are we want to describe the unshaded region so the unshaded region is less okay the unshaded region is less this side the unshaded region is less so this type of a line it's solid so i'm going to write here we say uh, y is less or equal to 1 over 3 in brackets we have negative 5x plus 40 okay like this this is our answer okay this is our answer so our three inquiries just to conclude our three inquiries we said the first one was what the first inquiry was the first one was y less or equal to x then the second one it's y greater or equal to negative 1 over 4x plus 2 then the third one we have said it's y less or equal to negative 5 over 3x plus 40 over 3 so these are the three inquiries okay so thank you so much everyone for following us don't forget to subscribe if you're watching on youtube and if you're watching on our facebook page don't forget to share that to like the page and invite your friends bye bye